after under lead nitrate, mass of the precipitate once they're two mixed together, mole fraction of the iodine, and mole fraction of the lead. Many people are saying that they have difficult time being able to increase or decrease the amount of decimals. So, to increase or decrease the amount of decimals, you need to highlight your area, whatever you be working on. So we're going to highlight this. Then, we're going to, um, let me re-highlight here. Then you're going to go to the area under the number, and you can see that this will in increase or decrease your amount of decimals. So if I want to increase, I'm going to push on this button, and if I want to decrease, I'm going to push on this button. So you can increase and decrease the amount of decimals that may be. So the first area should have one decimal place, set one decimal place for the second, three for here, two for here, and two for the final one. So increasing and decreasing amount of decimals is going to be important. Now, the next thing we need to do is highlight the area in which we're going to graph. We're going to be graphing the mole fraction of the iodine and the mass precipitate of the product that was produced. So we're going to highlight that. We, of course, want to make a graph, so we're going to click on Charts. And then we want a scatter plot, so we're going to pick on Scatter. We're going to choose the first graph. So you now can see that we have made our graph. And what we're going to do is we kind of want to move and center it before we start working with it. So if I click on the corner here and I have the four arrows, um, that's going to let me to move my graph. Then when I click over here, I'll move my pointer over here. Once I have two arrows, that arrows that's going to allow me to expand my graph and make it bigger. Right now, I don't have my graph in the proper orientation. What I actually have is the precipitate down here on the x-axis and the mole fraction on the y, and I need to reverse them. So to reverse the two axes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Chart. And on the chart, chart I'm going to click Source Data. Source Data is going to come up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take where it says the X values, and I'm going to delete them. Then I'm going to come back over here to the chart, and what I want to be my X, I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to start with the first number under mole fraction, and I'm going to highlight down to the last value, and it will go ahead and plug in those values for me. I will do the same thing for the Y axis. I will come over here, the mass precipitate is what I want on the Y, start with the first numerical value, going down to the bottom, and it will automatically put those values. When I push OK, then when I go back to my graph, you can see now I have the right representation of what I want for Jobs Lab. An important thing to note, in your chart, you can't put any letters, because if you do, the, the program Excel does not, want, not know how to read letters and graph them, and it can only be numerical numbers. The next thing I need to do is put in titles for both of my axes. So to do the titles, I'm going to click on Chart Layout. And when Chart Layout comes out, you're going to see Axis for Titles. I'm going to click on them. I want to put in a horizontal title, and I'm going to go to the horizontal axis, and you can see I can go to the title below the axis. So I'm going to click on that. So you can see my axis title shows up. I'm going ahead to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to delete those words, and I'm going to put in what's needed, which is the mole fraction of iodine. And I've got to do and I have to do the same thing for the vertical. So I'm going to click on once again axis titles. When I do I'm going to pull down here to the vertical. I'm going to choose what I want. I'm going to choose this one. And you can see that my axis title shows up. Once again I'm going to click on it. So I can delete And 
now I'll put in the need information, which is the precipitate, and it's going to be in grams. And now I'm going to have my chart. Then all that's left is reading your chart, drawing once again your two best fit lines, reading where they intersect, um, where they intersect, and then getting the mole fraction of iodine and making the comparison to the mole fraction of lead.